Hello everyone, I'm Clover, I'm 13 years old, and I run In a Pinch Hermit Crab Rescue in Bayport, Minnesota. On this channel, I will go over hermit crab care, rescue stories, and also share some information of the hermit crabs currently up for adoption and will be up for adoption in the future. You will get to see the behind the scenes of how I run my rescue, all the things going on, and if you're in the Minnesota, Wisconsin area, or you're willing to travel, then you can even adopt one or more of the hermit crabs we've rescued. So yeah, let me show you how things work here and go over basically our system. All right, so I actually have my own pet room because I keep quite a few different species. So yeah. So starts off pretty simple. Basically, someone will message us through uh, the Facebook group or sometimes through Craigslist saying they'd like to rehome a hermit crab or crabs. From there, I ask a few questions like where are they located and are they able to drop off in Bayport? And I sort of get a feel on their willingness to share information. Um, and I normally will ask for a picture of the hermit crab or crabs just to sort of get a feel of size and what I'm taking on because I've had hermit crabs that I've gotten half dead and I've had hermit crabs that are in perfectly good health come in. So yeah, after that we will schedule a time and date to either meet somewhere or for me to pick them up or for them to drop them off. After they come home, I will give them a bath. Normally you don't want to do this with hermit crabs, by the way. It's just because they are new and coming into a new situation. Uh, yeah, basically I will use my uh, basic like saltwater mix for their saltwater bowls, which is uh, Sea Kemp Prime to dechlorinate the water and then Instant Ocean to make it salty. And I will dip them in there, make sure the salt water is in their shell and everything, and that can help to kill off any mites that might be on them. And then after that, they'll go and get set up in one of the bottom uh, tanks. Now, I don't have any hermit crabs in any of these, so they are completely, like, unset up. Um, depending on the hermit crab and their conditions, um, I would put them in these with different care. For example, one in good condition will go into a just basic quarantine setup with a uh, humidity carrying or holding lid humid substrate, uh, proper heat, diet, and deep saltwater and freshwater bowls. And then they'd be in there for a month while I make sure that they don't have any parasites or other issues that need to be taken care of. If a hermit crab comes in bad condition, I will do the PPS method, or yeah, sorry, PPS method, which is post-pursuit post-purchase stress method, uh, and I will put a drier substrate down with smaller um, water and salt water dishes, good food still, but yeah, I will use a wire lid and then slowly increase the humidity over uh, an extended period of time, normally about a month, and then they will have an extra month after that to make sure they are healthy. Uh, but yeah, so that's why I have four tanks. One tank is missing, though, because it's currently being uh, cleaned out, but yeah. Once they are done with quarantine and, if needed, rehabilitation, they will move up to one of the holding tanks. Now, the first one is a 40-gallon breeder, uh, so of decent size. Second one is a 30-gallon tall. Now, this is completely disassembled right now. I'm setting it up for some hermit crabs that are going to be in there soon, so yeah. But this one is set up with six hermit crabs, and so I can show you. But yeah, so in these holding tanks, it's basically like a normal crabitat setup. Set up like you would if I were to be keeping them just as pets. So yeah, they've got acrylic lids to keep in humidity, uh, proper lighting, salt and freshwater bowls deep enough for all of the crabs to fully submerge in. I've got deep substrate in here, so from here where the substrate starts, this is six inches, so definitely enough. I have it sloping down and then I have a wheel. I've got multiple uh, hiding spots, food dish, climbing of course, and then the heat mat or heat strip going across the back of the tank. So yeah, 
This and this are both called holding tanks and the hermit crabs will stay in here until someone adopts them. Now, adoption fees vary drastically depending on the conditions of the hermit crabs we got them in and whether or not we went to get them. By the way, when I say we, that's me and my mom. I run the rescue, I do all of the rehabilitation, uh, I care for them, I do the research, I coordinate things, and I talk to the people adopting and rehoming hermit crabs, but obviously I can't drive, so my mom does that. So, of course, I do have to raise rehoming fees. Uh, in order to pay for gas if I am going far to get them because I do pay my mom uh, gas prices for the drive. But yeah, rehoming fees are anywhere from $15 to $75. Yes, I know, it's a lot. But yeah, after they are in the holding tanks, I will take pictures of them and give some basic information like their size, like shell size, their name, their species, and their rehoming fee and then they will go up for adoption on my Facebook group. I'll put a link to it into the description below. And then someone will comment on the post saying they would like to adopt the hermit crab or crabs. I will then PM them with a the adoption application. As long as everything checks out in that and they are able to properly care for the hermit crab or crabs, then we will schedule a time to meet and for them to pick up the hermit crab or crabs. And yeah, that's how we do this. Thanks for watching.